and welcome to another episode of Nessie Talks Everything. Um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Michael, my like Mike. Follow him on you know, YouTube and everything. Subscribe. But basically, he did like a male version of this, and I said to him I was going to do like a female version of this because I agreed so much with a lot of what he was saying. So today, my topic is stereotypes, and we're just tired of basically black girl stereotypes. So the first one is black girls are loud. No, we're not. Not everyone is. To be honest, people say that I'm loud, but I'm not. I'm just quite excited about certain topics, but I'm not a loud person. So you can't generalise and you know, paint all of us with the same brush and be like, oh, black girls are loud. No, we're not. In fact, most of my friends are very quiet people, so I don't understand where you got that from. You know, if you're, if you're watching Ratchet TV, like, what's it called? Um, Love and Hip Hop. Basically, they might be loud, but it doesn't mean that everyone else is, so I'm sorry, that's just not true. Um, we're obsessed with chicken. No, we're not. <sighs> we're not, okay? Like, I love chicken like the, every other person, but I actually prefer fish. I prefer fish. I would take fish over chicken any day. I don't understand where people have this, you know, thing that black people love chicken. Yeah, chicken is nice, but we're not obsessed with it. There's black vegetarians, there's black vegans, pescatarians. I have a friend who's pescatarian, like, or she, like, she doesn't even eat chicken or meat or beef or pork or lamb or whatever. She has fish strictly, so I don't understand why you think we're obsessed. No, no, not just that we love, but we're obsessed with chicken. How? Where did that come from? I don't understand. <sighs> Watermelon. You see, now, okay, you see this one? I've heard about it quite frequently, and I don't understand where it came from. I don't know how that happened. I think I might, I think it's an American thing. I don't know. But yes, I like watermelon. No, I'm not obsessed with it. I haven't had watermelon in a while. And when I have it, it's all like, oh my god, the best thing has happened to me my whole life because I just had watermelon. We're not obsessed with watermelon. I think that's a myth. Or maybe it's an American thing. I don't know. You can find out. But it's not. Not every black person likes watermelon. Okay, next one. We all like Beyonce. You see, this one's a lie. Like, I'm not a fan, even though one of my best friends is obsessed with her. Not a fan of hers. I wouldn't go to a Beyonce concert. Don't know many of her songs. We don't all do what's that song that they what's that song that she loves? Not single ladies. I don't, I don't see, I don't even know. I, I don't know. I'm not a fan of Beyonce. So we don't all like Beyonce. Thank you very much. We like other people, you know. Jesus. Um I talk black. Okay, see this one. <clears throat> I remember I was in sixth form, right? Um my friend, um my friend's boyfriend um sent her a text like slang because he lived in Peckham. Big Brixton, one of those two. This, these are Caucasian people, white people, and um, he said he sent her like a slangy text, and then she said to me, "Oh, Vanessa, you speak black, right? Can you translate this?" <laughs> and I remember the whole like common room, like no, it was the common room, like the study room went dead quiet. Like Vanessa, are you not going to say something to this girl? But she was very um, ignorant. Speak black. What is speaking black? I don't understand. Is there like some kind of code for black people that no one's told me about? I don't understand how you can say someone speaks black. Like, where did you get that kind of idea from? But no, I don't speak black. I speak English, like you do. You understand me, except like if you understand me and I speak black, then you speak black too. So that's just nonsense that I don't get. I don't speak black. Oh, yeah, the clicking. Um, this. You know, like, oh my god, no, no, we don't do that. Um, when I moved into uni, that's the first thing they asked me to do, actually, and I was quite offended. They said, oh, can you know that kind of, oh, oh, hell no, oh, hell no. I'm like, no, who speaks like that? I don't understand. Like, I grew up in Charlton, like, <laughs> we don't click. I'm just a normal black girl trying to live her life. Um... Yeah, we're all sassy and all independent, you know, I'm an independent woman and... No! We're not all like that, you know, I, 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 can't, I can't say that there's not people like that, but I'm not one of them. Stop painting us all with the same brush. Not all black people do, are like all sassy, like, mm-hmm, don't talk to me. No! We're not like that. I don't think so. And if you, if you disagree, please leave a comment and explain to me how you think all black people do that. We don't. Um... <clears throat> I'm not from ends. <laughs> Do you know how long it took me to realise what being from ends was? I'm not from ends. Because when I say I'm, I'm from London, people are like, oh my god, you're from London? You're from ends? I'm like, what is ends? Like, I'm not from ends. I'm, I'm actually just a normal girl who went to school in Dartford, who lived in Charlton. You know, like, I'm not from ends. I don't speak Nigerian. 
that's just just I just gonna wanna like just pop that in there. I don't speak Nigerian. I'm gonna give a little geography lesson, right? So we have you know how we have we've got Europe, right? We have this continent called Africa. So Africa is not a country, it's a continent. Then within Africa we have countries. Yes, Nigeria is a country. Now within Nigeria we have states and they speak different languages. So I speak Yoruba. I don't speak Nigerian. I don't speak African. Afrikaans is the language. African. Oh. I don't speak Nigerian. I don't know what speaking Nigerian is. And actually, Nigerians speak English. That the official language for Nigeria is English. So the fact that you think I speak Nigerian is just ridiculous. Educate yourself. I don't speak Nigerian. Okay. Um. We actually don't all wear weave. And I do wear weave sometimes, wig, whatever you want to call it. But I do have my own hair. Growing from my scalp. I have hair. <laughs> if we was to disappear today, Vanessa would not be a bald person. I would wear my hair proudly. In fact, it's just because this weather doesn't favour my hair, okay? So I like to wear wigs and weave and other stuff that you guys have probably discovered by now. So we do, uh, we do have our own hair. Some, some, some of my friends do get offended when someone says, Oh my God, is that weave? No, it's actually my hair. I, I can't have hair, you know, it's, it's, so, it's okay. And yes, leading on to that, no, you can't touch my hair. I don't like it when people say, oh my God, your hair looks so, oh, what's that word that this girl used? Uh, it's so, is it stringy? It's so, oh God, can I touch, can I play with it? I'm like, do you see me asking you to play with your hair? Like, you can't touch my hair because, okay, look, this one's hair is curly and her hair is straight and her hair is kinky and then her hair is, like, no, you can't be touching our hair. Like, it's not a toy. It's not some kind of accessory like, oh my god, guess what I did today? I touched some black girl's hair. No, it's not an achievement. Like, why would... Okay, it's awkward. Can I touch your head? No, don't do it, please. It's actually a bit rude. I'm not going to dance for you. I'm not a puppet. Not all black people like dancing. Not all black people dance, you know. Oh, Vanessa, you're black, right? Can you like do like a little dance for us? No. I'm not going to dance for you. I'm just not like it's, it's that one I actually find very very rude. I don't like it. I'm not gonna dance for you. I'm sorry. I'm not your toy. Um, and lastly, this one is actually very funny, so I saved it for the last one. Yes, I have a blog. I know I don't have a white boyfriend. Do you know how offensive it is? Like <laughs> someone, someone asked me, ah, you know that you've got a blog. Are you gonna get yourself a white boyfriend? Do you know how to like? It's so offensive. Like. I was having this conversation actually a few days ago with my friends and I'm like not every black vlogger who's a girl is going to have a white boyfriend or husband and then obviously because my best friend has a white boyfriend um, people ask him oh she, she, she plans to start a vlog I'm like do you know how disrespectful that is? No! I don't, know, I don't have a white boyfriend I don't need a white boyfriend to have a vlog a white boyfriend is not an accessory okay yeah, most of got 10 steps to make a vlog <laughs> number one get my boyfriend like do you know how that sounds it's just disrespectful so i i mean there's, there's loads more but i'm really tired of these ones because a lot of them are quite disrespectful so no i don't have a white boyfriend no you can't touch my hair no i'm not gonna dance for you yes i wear weave but i do have my own hair i'm not bald okay <sighs> sorry guys i actually enjoyed that it like, helped me think like i always say here if there's anything else you think i missed out please let me know and shout out to you michael once again thank you i think i really needed to do this so thank you very much and i'll see you guys next time with something more interesting okay bye okay. hey everyone don't want to that stop again <laughs> Uh, first of all, you said you're from Shelter. You don't, you, you don't know. There's no good in Shelter.